Welcome to Tabletop Tactics. Coming up in today's battle. Powering up. Murder, 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 murder. Okay. <laughs> oh, you swine. The tray is sapping my power. Oh, that's so stressful. Damn it, beard. <laughs> Welcome back to Tabletop Tactics, you bunch of bosses. It's me, the beard. It's him, the chef. And today, it's iron versus iron. Kind of. Uh, kind of, because yeah. it's a big iron knight. Yeah. I am big clanking iron knight, and yes. you have iron hands. I have iron, <clears throat> iron maneuvers like this. <clears throat> And we have some reinforcements as well. Yes, the Chaos Knights have been reinforced with many thanks to Tapio. Check out his Instagram handle below for he has sent us a bunch of war dogs. Oh, 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 oh. Love them war dogs. Yeah, uh, really nice uh, job on them. Uh, converted up really, really nice. You can check out the stuff, as I say, on his Instagram below. Um, yeah, I'm very excited because this gives a little bit more of uh, flexibility to the Chaos Knights army that we have. Indeed. Um, and... <clears throat> I may enjoy using them now. Whoa! It's yeah. never been done. It's yeah. maybe today will be the day. Maybe it's because the it's because you actually have to think about using them now. Now you go. Oh, okay. I'm gonna die horribly, and I can't hold objectives. What can I do? I have plans for that. Don't worry. Um, but yeah, so they're they're actually interesting to use now. And uh, yeah, your right house is very cheeky one. It's all right. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's a yeah. We should do some business. It's a yeah. It's a yeah. It's a yeah from me. <laughs> We're going to listen in a minute. Before we do so, please consider subscribing. Hit that like button. All that stuff helps us out massively. But before you do that, we'll do it now. Yeah, do it now. Ready? Go. Cool. You've done that. Excellent. Yeah. Now it's time for the list. Right then, Chaos Knights. Yeah, um, I'm actually enjoying using these guys um, because they're not the <sighs> auto-win broken nonsense that they were in earlier editions, um, which is boring to me. So these guys are actually a challenge to use now because they may not play knife as well as other armies, but uh, I have some tricks up my sleeve. Uh, and to that end, we are running a single super heavy detachment. Um, I have two despoilers in here, um, and then I have a bunch of hounds. So I will unleash the war dogs. Um, so uh, one of my despoilers is my warlord. I've given him uh, infernal quest. So he has objective secured and he counts 10 models for that purpose. So that covers a weakness of the knights already. I've also given him the Veil of Midran Guard uh, because I'm a, I, an Iconoclast household. Um, so he gets a four up in when I get shooting, so that saves CP for Iron Shields. And I've given him two Thermal Cannons. So he's my anti-tank buster. Um, and I've also given him Vow the Beast Slayer as well. So he gets to reroll ones to wound against units that have eight or more uh, wounds on their models, uh, which is very nice. So it really helps him sort of punish the tanks. Um, my second spoiler is a more shooty version. Uh, so he's got an Avenger Gatling Cannon, he has a Rapid Fire Battle Cannon, he has an Iron Storm Missile Pod on top. Uh, and I've given him, I've spent one CP for um, an extra relic for him, uh, which does make him a character, so that's useful for things like heroic intervention. Um, and I've given him the Helm of Warp Sight, so you ignore modifiers to hit. Uh, which is always really useful because dense cover is a thing, and we don't ignore that because we're very large, very chunky. Um, so uh, he's going to be sort of a backline supporter, but I can use him aggressively if I need to. And then we have the war dogs themselves. So we've got three units of war dogs because that's all you're allowed to take as chaos. We don't have any Moiraxes, I'm afraid, guys. Um, so if you want to see those, you're going to be waiting a while because it's Forge World. Um, but the normal war dogs can still fill a bunch of stuff that they need to do. So um, I've got them in uh, two squads of a uh, war dog with a chain glaive and the thermal spear 
and the auto cannons. So two of them, so I can sort of deploy them in tandem to work with each other. And then the third squad has uh, two with the chain glaives and the thermal spear and one auto cannon. So in total, I've got four combatty ones with the spears and I've got three shooty boys with the auto cannon. Um, the reason why I split them as such is so that I can deploy them in pairs and like I say, make them work in tandem. Um, as I mentioned, I'm Iconoclast Household, and I'm taking two custom traits today. I'm taking Abominable Constitution, so I get everyone gets plus one to their movement, and I always count as being on my top profile for movement, so you can never slow me down, which, again, the weaknesses of, of the knights are obviously one, objectives, and two, the degradation tables can be really harsh, um, so that helps offset that. And I've also got Pride Fueled Fury, um, which gives me plus one attack and plus one to hit in melee uh, if I'm below half wounds. So it gets to the point where you actually have to kill a knight rather than weakening it and kind of ignoring it and going, oh, it's hitting on fives, I don't really care, and it's moving six inches. Or I, I go, no, I'm moving 13 inches, I'm hitting you on fours, and I've got like six attacks with Iconoclast, so bring it on. Um, now, sure, killing knights for some armies isn't difficult, but this means that you kind of have to overinvest. You cannot afford to leave one of these knights alive with two or three wounds, because he's still gonna hit you very hard. Um, and that's the list, it's 2,000 points on the nose, should be a cheeky one. Let's see what the Iron Hands have to offer. Let's get into this list. It is the Iron Hands, and today we have one medallion for your viewing pleasure. We have three HQs to go through, first of all. We have, first, my warlord, Iron Father Ferris. He is a bit of a beast. He's an interesting one. He doesn't really work like a chapter master, but he does have some really nifty tricks up his sleeve, which work quite nicely for this army. Uh, I'm also taking a lieutenant. He has a mastercrafted auto bolt rifle. That's it, just trying to keep the points down for him. And then we have a Primaris chaplain on bike. I have given him a relic, which is the Benediction of Fury. So that's a super crozius for anyone wondering. And I'm thinking about maybe running him with Mantra of Strength, which is a bit of an unusual one because normally he boosts other units. Um, but facing knights, I quite like the idea of him being able to take down Armagers because his crozius is uh, damage four, which is pretty cool. So we'll have to see how that plays out. Troops wise, we have three units of incursors. I have given them all each a haywire mine. Uh, because it's cool and actually when facing knights it's actually quite nice because it will dish out some mortal wounds because they're vehicles obviously. Uh, moving on from there we then have my elite's choices. We have two Redemptor Dreadnoughts, uh, one of which I have paid a command point to give him March of the Ancients to make him a character. Um, he has a Micro Plasma Incinerator, he has his fist and the Onslaught Gatling Cannon and a pod on his head. Um, and Warlord trait-wise, because he does become a character, I have paid an additional command point to then give him um, All Flesh is Weak, so he has a 5-up uh, up Shruck, which is pretty cool for a Redemptor, so we'll see if he manages to survive the oncoming fury from the Chaos Knights. Uh, the other Redemptors kit out exactly the same way, but just doesn't have the Missile Pod on top. Uh, we also have an Invictor Warsuit. Um, I've given this one the uh, Incendium Cannon, everything else comes with. Um, so it'll be fun to run him and sort of do his deployment shenanigans and maybe help him boost up those or, or deploy with the um, incursors. Fast attack wise we have two units of outriders. I wanted a nice speedy unit to be able to hop onto and off of objectives um, and they could obviously run with the chaplain if I wish. And I do also have a unit of Invader ATVs. They all have multi melters. We have three in this unit. Again, nice and speedy. An insane amount of wounds and multi melters are always nice at dealing with vehicles. And finally, we have a unit of eradicators because it's Space Marines. You have to take eradicators. It's a unit five. They all have melter rifles. And that is the list. 2,000 points boop, on the nose. Let's see if it's enough to deal with all of these war dogs. Let's go over the mission. Today's mission is Vital Intelligence, a Strike Force mission from the Warhammer 40,000 Grand Tournament Mission Pack. Six predetermined objective markers are placed onto the battlefield. Objectives you control at the end of your command phase remain in your control even when you move away from them until your opponent captures them. The primary objective is Domination, a progressive mission where players score five victory points for each of the following conditions they achieve at the end of each of their command phases. Holding two or more objectives, holding three or more objectives, and holding more objectives than their opponent. 
These are cumulative and cannot be scored in the first battle round. Each player also chooses three secondary objectives that can score up to 15 points each. Huddled in the corner, afraid of all the melt of death, <laughs> stand the Chaos Knights. Perhaps they've only just entered this fringe of the battlefield. Perhaps. Yeah, I mean, it would make sense. I'll tell you what, it's quite scary seeing that many war dogs. Yeah. It's, uh, it's far more intimidating than just a few big knights. Yes. And you may be wondering, what's this? The Trough of Plenty. It's a dice tray. Yes. That wasn't for it. We've finally it given just, in. Just We've given in to all the people out there. Look, saying, I'm happy that there's a dice tray. You guys need to get a dice tray. I'm, I'm happy that there's a dice tray because it means that I don't need to die on that hill of cock dice anymore. <laughs> uh, secondly, it may help me not throw them off the table. And yet, and yet, I will find a way. We'll have to wait and see. Yeah. But more importantly, the Iron Hands are here. The Obsidian Dragons are the Obsidian Hands today, or maybe the Iron Dragons. Ooh. Ooh, Iron Dragons. Ooh. Unleashed the Iron Dragon. That's, that, that sounds like a Forge World weapon attached to a Chaos-like um, thing. Yeah. The Iron Dragon trebuchet. Yeah, oh, fear it. So, uh, raid before them, we have uh, various bikes. Fast for an Iron Hands army, this. Yep. Incursors uh, leading the charge here uh, alongside their pal, the Stealth Nought. Uh, we've got the two Redemptors over here. Uh, the one that is not yeeting an Iron Warrior's door and doing a break dance is the character I've been in for. I am a little upset that uh, of all the Iron Warrior's remains that are on all these models, but to the price they must pay. Look. He's dead. Yeah. Okay, so that is that. We've... Oh, Zoom, come on now. There we go. You have seen the mission. You've seen the deployment. You've seen the map. You've seen our new dice trays. Shall we utilize them, Beard? Let's. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you what, because you... No, you know what? I'm gonna roll first. Good luck, it's on you. If you, if you... It's a free. Okay. Okay, it's all right. It's, it's middle of the road. It's 50-50. It's, it's, it's fine. Let's, let's see what we can do. It's a six. So you must go first. The trough of plenty. That's fine. I'd kind of anticipated that, hence why I've deployed like this. Yeah. Uh, Beard will have to come out to play. But let's see if he does so. Oh. Turn one for the Iron Hands. Coming right up. You join us in the command phase. A few little things to do before we go to the movement phase. Um, Ferros has done his signum on the... What? Eradicators. Eradicator. I don't think they're going to be in range this turn, but I mean... Not much is what? this turn. Why not? Uh, we've gained a CP, but we've immediately spent it on Wisdom of the Ancients. Yes. Uh, on your character Nort, I've been told. Yes, uh, um, character Nort. Um, so I'm going to put Tactical Precision on uh, for him and his aura. Uh, I'm already rerolling ones to hit uh, in this, in Devastator Doctrine, because of Mine Hands. Huh? Um, so, yes. There you go. That's it. And I got a command point back. Yeah, you got your command point. I have spent 11 that straight away. Oh, and we're doing Mantra of Strength yep. on the Chaplain. Yes. Um, does it go off? That's the question. Oh, put it in my, in my trough of plenty. Yes, it does. It does. So he is buffed up. Um, should he decide, should I decide to charge him this turn? I don't, I don't know. It's probably not. Charge me. Uh, maybe. Um, you've gained a CP, but then you spent a CP, so you're still on 10. Yes. Um, you've done your signum. That's it. Not much else to do. We'll be back in the movement phase. Surging into battle, the Iron Hands unleash their bikers. The Iron the, Tide. The iron, the iron Tires. Tide. Or tires. That works as well. Yeah. You wouldn't get the flat with an iron tire. I mean, it's true. I mean, these are like two inch thick ceramite tires. I'm not quite sure how that works. I imagine the suspension must be the best in the land. Listen, I mean, whoever makes these Astartes vehicles, they're doing something right. I don't understand how. Terrible aerodynamics. Yeah. Everything's very heavy, not very fuel efficient, bad for the environment. Don't know. Yeah, they need to sort it out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So what, what we've done is we've moved forward, uh, we've advanced with both units of bikes, the chaplain over here, the unit of ATVs, and we've just kind of shuffled around with our uh, bots and our incursors because, yes. yeah, Beard doesn't want to come out and play, which I respect. 
Not yet, no. I'm just getting into a position where I don't get shot off the board, potentially, uh, in, in your first turn. Um, I'm, I'm just, I, with the secondaries I've taken, I want to be able to hold the board as best I can. Sure, makes sense to me. Yeah. So we've held back with the incursors over here, held back with incursors and eradicators over here. The incursor unit is doing uh, data intercept yes. uh, on this objective here. Yes. Um, which does mean that if uh, I don't stop that, it's going to score three points. I don't, there's not really much I'm going to be able to do about that, to be <laughs> honest. Meh. And we've shuffled forward here with the two Dreadnoughts just to ensure that they can get some of their guns in range. Although the way that I've deployed has basically forced Beard's hand the way that he's moved. Yeah, it's um, basically just going to be plasma incinerators into the fella over there. Uh, can't into really this point. See, yeah, can't. Well, well, remember that I the obscuring doesn't count for my big knights. So if you can see a little bit, you can see him. Well, I want to pump guns into both. Uh, it, well, the, the two guns into one thing just to ensure that I kill something. Sure. Um, I've got a couple of options. I can see an army yeah. go over here. Sorry, a war dog. Oh! Um, I've got a couple of options. You've got a couple of options, but yeah. like I said, I did force Beard's hand with the melter. That will be part of wave two. This is my hand and it was forced. Backwards. Ah, uh, behind my back. Oh. The shooting phase will be swift. We will kick off with this character dreadnought here. Uh, he is going to be shooting at this front war dog here. Yes. Uh, I have rotated iron shield, so I've got a four up in one, but you've also used Gorgon's Wrath. Wrath. Gorgon's Wrath. No, uh, no. Mercy's Weakness. Mercy's Weakness. Yes. So uh, it's a very cool stratagem. Uh, sixes to wound do two wounds effectively. So it's like exploding wounds rather than exploding exploding wounds. sixes. Yeah. Uh, which is nice. Um, all my other guns are out of range, so we're going to roll for my plas macro plasma incinerator. Good. <laughs> Um, I'm going to spend a command point to re-roll that. Sure. Because one is no good for me. Come on, Trough of Plenty. That's, That's better. better. I need to call you by your correct name. <laughs> the Trough of Plenty. Damn you, Trough of Plenty. Okay. Twos are no good. I presume that you were overcharging. Yes. <laughs> uh, three to wounds. You re-roll that one because you did do Wisdom of the Ancients. You roll the one. Wisdom of the Ancients. It, you knocked okay. over a wound yes. anyway, so it's, it's, it's two, two wounds. wounds. Okay, so two, four up invulnerable saves here. Uh, I saved one, uh, so three damage goes through. Neither of those were sixes to wound, were they? Sadly so, not. Sadly not. No. So I do take three damage, down to nine remaining. The second Redemptor now, and that will be it, is instead going to shoot at this rear war dog with his uh, big auto cannons. Yes. Um, uh, we baited out the iron shield, although you were a bit unlucky, I must admit. A little bit. A little I wanted bit. one six. Yeah, that would have been cool. Wouldn't that be cool? Um, but uh, no stratagems being employed here, so it's just your plasma incinerator. Overcharging, of course. Four shots. Four. Here we go. Trough of plenty. Reroll those ones. You are in Devastated Doctrine as an iron hand. Damn it. <laughs> Three's to wounds. It is one wound. One wound. So one, five up invulnerable save. Which I say. Oh, very nice. Very nice. I've withered that wi withered that storm. You've withered, withered it very well, I've yes. Withered that storm. Not uh, only a single uh, wound gone through, mm. not enough to degrade. I will have to be cagey with my movement though, because obviously there is lots of melter to deal with. Um, but that's it for your turn. That's the end of my turn. Yeah, not, not much in range. It was very much wanting to get into the middle of the board and then do stuff in my second turn. Okay. Yes. We will be back in the Iron... The Iron Hands have just had their turn. I was yes. about to say Iron Warriors because I was looking at the dead corpse on the uh, base of the Redemptor. Um, the Chaos Knights movement phase, because all I get in the command phase is one CP, will be back. We're back. It's turn one, movement for the Chaos Knights. And that phase is complete. Yep. Starting down here, these two war dogs oh, have moved down this way. They now have line of sight to the two Redemptor Dreadnoughts and the auto cannon wielding war dog at the back over there has line of sight to the Eradicators. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I will try my luck. Over this way, we can see that these war dogs have had a bit of a shuffle as well. Yep. The big knight has ambled forwards, not too far, oh. but is uh, now got line of sight on the Redemptors as well. Uh, we have these war dogs moving forwards. One is on the objective at the rear over there, and this knight at the back. The big knight has moved forwards and does have line of sight to the ATVs over here, which is very unpleasant it's for me. Um, yes. So yes, that's that. Yes. Yeah, so um, and 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 yes. 
Yeah, I mean, so I gained a CP in the command phase. Um, I've moved in such a way that your eradicators aren't going to be in range yeah. um, unless they advance, and even if they advance, they need like a four or a five. Um, charges is going to be a 12 for this guy. Presuming that these guys survive, it's going to be like a 10 or 11 for these guys. Um, I know that your, the primary is going to be yours next turn, so that's why I've just not bothered. Yep. Um, the plan is is to wipe out some key elements and then come out to play in turn two and three. Very nice. Um, is the plan. Let's see if it comes to fruition. <laughs> we're going to go straight into the shooting phase? Uh, yes, I know what I'm going to start with. Cool. Um, we're going to kick off with this uh, boy over here. He's going to fire everything into your... Um, which one's your character redemptor? Uh, the one that's not doing a dance. Yes, uh, we're going to put everything into the far redemptor. Sure. Uh, so, uh, I'll start with the heavy stubber, why not? It's, Stub it's away. Tracer fire. I uh, hit you once because you're in dense cover. Yes. I wound you no times. Okay. Fine. The thermal spear is two shots. Okay. I hit you no times. Very okay. good. Uh, fine. Come back to me. Moving on to the next of the war dogs. This is the one that did take some wounds from the Redemptors and he is seeking revenge. Yes. He is going to blast a hole into this Redemptor, yep. the character. He has, I really need to come up with a name for him. Yeah, I can't see the other one because obscuring, but yeah. that's fine. Uh, I hit you once. This is just the heavy stubber. Uh, it is a wound. Oh, very nice. Yeah, no minuses though. No minuses. A three it to save. stubber. Very nice. Okay, the thermal spear. Three shots. Oh no. Uh, free to wound. Oh, it's free wounds. It's oh, minus no. four. Oh no. I'm not in half range. Yes. Um, so it's d6 on the damage. Oof. Okay. So that goes to four. That goes to three. And that goes to three. Wow. Very, wait, wait. He was hungry for revenge. He sure was. Ten right. Wounds. Let me grab my dice and see if I can get some shrugs. Right, so see if we can make some shrugs. He does have all flesh's weaknesses as warlord traits. So yes, we've got cool. fives and sixes to shrug. Uh, Ooh, and we do okay. shrug for five. five of them. Very nice. So he takes five wounds. Five damage, though. I mean, it's not shabby. It's not um, shabby at I all. was hoping for more, but never mind. Uh, we'll go on to his pal. He'll do the exact same thing. Sure. Tracer fire. Damn it. <laughs> Should have done it the other way around. Okay, no wounds. The thermal spear. One shot this time. He thought his pal had it. <laughs> uh, it hits. Doesn't wound. Mm. Um... He won't get a save. So he's got how many wounds left? Eight. Uh, he has eight now, yes. And you count as double wounds for your profile, so I need to get you down to like three wounds. I'm gonna leave it. Okay. I'm gonna leave it. Very well. He will live for now. Next, war dog, the auto cannon wielding war dog. That's fun to say. Yeah. Shooting again into the Redemptor. Eight wounds left. Yes, he must be brought down. Uh, heavy stubbers, trace of fire, one hit. No wounds. The auto cannons. How did you get? How did you get a cock dice? Well, the I mean, plenty, we're, we're, we're like ten minutes in, so you know, <laughs> I, I start as I mean to go on. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six shots. Oh dear. Okay. Mm. Done it again. Two hits. That dense cover is really starting to annoy me. <laughs> uh, one wound minus one. Okay. Needing a four here. Love and life. Right, that's a problem. Mm, uh, okay, we'll go over to that auto dog boy. He's going to do the same thing. He okay. must be brought down. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a bit better. Not much, but a bit. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here we go. Told you, everyone. <laughs> it means nothing for me. That dense cover is so infuriating. Yes. I've dropped about five hits in every round. Only one wound again. Oh no. Ugh. Right, four up save, it's minus one. Saved again. Okay. Uh, the trough of plenty mm, is problem. a fickle mistress. We're moving on to the first of the big knights and hoping now for some better luck. Yes. So we have all of the weapons by the missile pod on top looking to put an end to the nonsense that this Redemptor Dreadnought is presenting. Yeah. Um, and the missile pod is going to fire into the incursors here. Doesn't he line of sight? No. Nope. Just wants to get rid of some ball control. Yeah, pretty much. So uh, we'll start with the heavy stubbers. It's hitting on threes because of the helm of warp sight. Yeah, so that's something. So that will make a difference. And then, of course, I roll all fours. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, two wounds, no minuses. Okie dokie. Three up saves here for Mr. Redemptor. 
He loves it good. The Iron Storm Missile Pod has six shots. Damn it. I still, I don't. It's incredible. No one tried to, to understand why I do this or how I do this um, because I don't either. Uh, that is two saves at minus one, damage two on your incursors. Okay, I'm just gonna roll down here. I've just realized that there is a space down here for me to roll. Uh, minus what? Minus one. Okay. So uh, one. Oh no, yeah, you iron hand, so you six up shocks. Oh yes. What's the damage? Two. Damage two. Does kill one. Very Does good. Kill one. Okay. One incursor is put down. Okay. We'll now do the Avenger Gatling cannon. Uh, Twelve shots here. Only damage one though. I'm wounding on fives, but my hand has been forced massively. Okay. Not a bad roll. Uh, not a bad one. If I could hit that again, that would be nice. Uh, three wounds at minus two. Okay, okay. Three wounds at minus two. Uh, I do fail one of them. Uh, two of them. You don't. Two have of them. Save. Sorry. Um, it's only damage one now, though. Unfortunately. Damage one. Can I shrug on fives? <sighs> shrug both. Okay. Disgusting. The battle cannon. Ten shots. Okay. Uh, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we drop, and yeah, wow. The the time where the dents doesn't make a difference. <laughs> okay, uh, freeze to wound. Okay, it's That's good. five wounds at minus two. Okay, fives and sixes here. Good. Make a single one. So 3d3 damage, I'm looking for all the fives and sixes though. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six damage. Six damage. Okay, let's Oof. see. We can do five and six to shrug. <laughs> okay. Wow. wow. Three damage. Eesh. It's now time for the double thermal cannon. It's the spear. Big. N oh, sorry. It's the spear. It's not the double. It's the, thermal, it's the thermal. I'm saving him. The thermal. Spear. Because realistically, at this point, I need to kill at least one thing. So I need to see what I'm going to be able to kill. Um, oh. So pro he's not, I mean, realistically, he's not charging me next turn. He needs to make a 12 inch charge and he needs to come in a straight line. But it's just the fact that he's just going to be shooting at full, at full yeah, efficiency. Yeah, you were pain. very unlucky there. Oh, but I mean, but you were lucky. So it, it sort of, it's one of those things, you know, it's, it's just frustrating. Uh, so we've got Thermal Spear and a Heavy Stubber into the bikes. Very nice. The, these ones over here in the middle? Yes. Okay. Because I'm fed up of hitting on fours. Fire away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Stubbers. It doesn't matter, apparently. Uh, one wound, no minuses. Okie dokie. A three up save. Love and life. The spear. It's three shots. Okay. Okay. Three hits. Three to wound. It's two wounds at minus four. I have no save. Very good. <laughs> Damage the first is five. Ooh, okay. Damage the second is four. So right. these will kill one, but you do have your shrugs. Okay, can I shrug to the first one? So five shrugs. Uh, I make one, but one is dead. The four and shrugs. Then four shrugs. No. One's alive on a wound. One wound left. Very, very pleasant. Good start there from the War Dogs. His brethren here, Orange Stripe Man, will yes. now try and finish the unit off. So we're going to do the Heavy Subber first of all. Yes. One has one wound left. Heavy Subber. See if we can whittle it away. It's two wounds there, Beard. Two wounds there. Whittle my timbers. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, yes. I do fail both. Don't, don't, don't do Ready it. Ready for a double six? Don't do it. Oh, I saw that first six. <laughs> so one is dead. One is cool. dead. The auto cannons then on the survivor. Okay, good. They finally decided to power up their guns. Very nice. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, so ten shots. Nice. Ten shots for the brave sergeant. Still, and um, that is an atrocious roll. Uh, dropped one, two, three. I dropped five. Ooh. Shocker. The rolling to hit has not been very good this turn. Yes. Uh, freeze to wound here. That's better. Uh, it balances out in the end. Four so wounds. Four wounds at minus one. Each one is free damage. Okay. We need to make all of these or he is dead. Uh, I do not make all of them. Uh, so you've got six shrugs to make. Six shrugs. Please. That's easy work. Shit. It is for you easy apparently. Work. <laughs> easy work. I'd, I'd do it in my sleep. But uh, no, I'm awake, today. so uh, that's that. The Outriders are destroyed. Oh. Excellent work there by the War Dogs. Oof. Now we are actually going to be going yes. to the big knight with the double thermal cannons, and he is putting them all 
and when I say, oh, I mean both, into the Invader ATVs down here. Yes, I can see your bonnet and your wheel. Yes. Um, past the, so we are counting this as obscuring, guys. I don't know if we mentioned that. Um, I don't think we did, hence why I've not been shooting at you know, the other stuff, the other stuff. Yeah. Um, that includes the crates. That includes the crates, yes. Yeah. So sort of this, this whole bit is obscuring sort of along that line of sight there. It's a very, very um, tall pile of crates. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> you can imagine they're probably letting out vents and stuff like that. Um, but that's why I've moved around there so that I can see there. Um, melter gun won't be in range, but the two thermal, here we go. I've done uh, trailer destruction, so I'm re-rolling all of my hit rolls. Cool, and I have done transhuman physiology. Because you're allowed to. So here we go. Oh, it's 11 shots, oh, bitch! Oh no, that's not good. It's 11 <laughs> shots! Oh no! Um, and here is where, so we were saying it's really weird that they've got eight wounds, because why? Um, but it's working in my favor because of Val the Beastlet, so I get to reroll ones to win, which is Certainly nice. Is. Uh, so here we go. I will reroll those misses with the Trail of Destruction. Also, why did I only roll eight dice? I don't there? know, I was gonna okay. say, you've got way more to roll. Right, that's good. So the rerolls, trailer destruction. It's very nearly full health. It's ten hits. Ten hits. Falls to win though. Yowza. Uh, two ones to reroll, and that's a very good roll there. Yes. The luck has balanced out. Okay, maybe. Uh, it's six wounds. It's six very wounds. respectable. Minus four. There's no saves here. Unfortunately, I'm not in half range, um, and I'm old uh, melter anyway. So I need to do these one at a time, basically. Soz. Um So the first one is five damage, so five shrugs. Okay, let's see if we can do five shrugs. Uh, diddle, 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 diddle. Uh, okay. I make one, so, so five go through. One's got four wounds remaining. One, and then I'll just do another one on top, so four. Uh, another five? Uh, so another five on this guy that's on one wound, basically. Oh no, I put it in the thing. It's fine, so he's dead. Yes, does he explode? Does he explode? No. He does not. Okay, so now I'll do these ones. Yeah, I, I will do them one at a time just to make sure that we're doing it right, so three wounds there. Okay, three shrugs. Uh, I make two. two of them. That okay. was a big roly poly. Uh, another two to make. Another two. Okie doke. Uh, didn't make him that time. Okay, so he's taken three, so I could do with a five or a six here. A four. Ugh, okay. unfortunate. Uh, one is down time. to one wound remaining. I mean, so one's healthy, one's down to one wound. Um, Okay, that could have gone better, but I mean, I did get rid of an ATV yes. and a squad of bikes. Yes. And um, that's my turn. Yeah. Uh, that was weird. <laughs> um, that was really frustrating. Yeah, you, you were, that was really you were, that was two different sides of luck there. Uh, I think that Redemptor deserves to be dead. But the bikes made up for it. It certainly did. Um, yeah. And killing an ATV is nice. Um, yes. And with one on one wound, it's, you know. That's, that's, that is annoying, but yeah. hey, what can you do? Nothing. Um, I am going to get hit back hard, but I have mitigated some charges. I've also mitigated the melter over there. Yep. You are going to rack up a bunch of points on the, on the primary and the secondary. Nothing I could do about that. Um, but uh, that's kind of the way that I was expecting to play with the army was to go, yeah, turn two, turn three is when I all, is when it kicks off. Indeed. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> okay. Let's see what happens. Battle round one has been concluded. We will return for battle round two. Here we are, turn two, command phase for the Iron Hands, and we have just picked up a whopping 15 points on the primary. Yay! We have one objective, we have two objectives, and we have three objectives to my two, so it is the hold two, the hold three, and of course the all-important hold more. Yes. Strate not st strategic scan, data intercept. Data intercept. Has now been completed, so yep. that's another three points. That does put Beard on a mighty 20, mm. but I, like I say, I was kind of expecting this to happen. Elsewhere in the command phase, we've gained a CP and we've immediately spent it again on Wisdom of the Ancients. Yes! Are uh, you doing reroll ones to hit or reroll ones to wound? To wound. Reroll ones to wound. We are, of course, in the Tactical Doctrine. Nothing you can do about that. Um, and then over here, we have uh, given the plus one to hit to the Eradicators again. Uh, they will need a big advance if they want to get into range, but I mean, hey, he's, there's no one else for him to do it on, so why not, right? Why not? And then finally, a litany. Yes! Uh, let's see if this goes off. It does. It does. And that was going to be a mantra of strength. <sighs> he <sighs> is powering up. He could, in theory, one shot a knight. <laughs> that would be something to see. Yes. Um, but... Ride up the knight and then boom! Knock his block off. Yeah, nice. Yeah. The end of the movement phase and the iron hands have surged forwards. The ATVs pulling up the rear there. The outriders leading the charge. The chaplain. He's a brave boy. 
Yes. Is he too brave? No. We'll have to find out. He's blasting some, <laughs> some very powerful speed metal in his skull helmet and he's pumped up. He's pumped up. The Invicta. Looking to support for any counter charges that may happen. And Curse has basically stayed put, just shifted along a little bit. No, they've advanced. They were over oh, here. Oh, uh, those ones advanced, sorry, forgive me. Uh, the other two incursors have basically stayed put. They have stayed put. Uh, we're holding an objective. Uh, that unit in there is uh, doing the action again for the data intercept. So yes. again, looking for more points. We've moved back with the injured one, the character who shrugged off a ludicrous amount of firepower. Does he have a name yet? Um, whatever the Latin is for iron hide, but I'll look it up in a minute. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, very good. Uh, he has been repaired. He's back up to eight wounds by Ferros, just automatic. Uh, Ferros did just get enough of an advance roll to do so. Yeah. Uh, the eradicators have moved forward. Did they advance? They've advanced. They yeah. advanced, although I don't know if they're going to be in range of anything there. They're not. I just want to get them in position for a further turn sure. and also have them in the barricade. Too. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, so using the terrain to their advantage, picking their way forward under heavy firepower. Uh, uh, Lieutenant is backing them up and we've also brought this guy out here to play. He does need a big old charge there if he wants to charge at all. Yes. Uh, that, yes, it'll be a nine. It's a nine. I see. Okay, so that is that. The shooting phase is about to commence. Mercy is weakness. Definitely not his ankles with the break dancing. <laughs> They're not weak at all, clearly. Uh, so double damage being used and firing everything into the war dog here with the two auto cannons. Yes. All right, is there any, anything else to declare on him? That's it. Okay, uh, good. Yes, here we go. And was it him or the character that had Wisdom of the Ancients? It was him, because I was planning on moving him back. Very good. Look at that, I hate you all the time. Good. Good. Uh, good. Have I rolled? I've not you, rolled enough dice. Yeah, you also, well, you, uh, what is this? This is Stormbolters? No, this is his um, Gatling cannon. His little Gatling Ah, the, the baby Gatling. Cool, very the good. little Gatling that could. Yes. Uh, then could it could. Fives and sixes. Yes. Uh, three wounds. Three wounds, okay. Oh, and re-roll this one for his aura. It's three wounds. Okay, and then because there's two sixes in there, they become uh, an extra wound each. Yes, so, so it's, it's five, five wounds. wounds. Very good. At minus one, because we are now, of course, in Devastator Doctrine. Of course. Uh, I take three wounds. Okay. Good start. Uh, now the plasma. Okay. It's four, four shots. Four shots, respectable number. Yes. Uh, it's three hits. Okay, very nice. Freeze to wound here. Overcharging, I presume? Yes. Okay. Here all these ones. Good Sixes, please. Oh no. Oh! Okay. Six. So that's three, three wounds. wounds there. So three, five up in vulnerable saves. Uh, I do save one, but I do take six damage because I presumed you were overcharging. So I've got three wounds remaining. I will overcharge until, whatever the situation. Yeah, I, I presume until, that you're going to, unless you say no. Yeah. Or okay. until I leave this mortal shackle. Sure. Anything else to fire with him? His storm bolters? He doesn't perhaps? have a pod, but we'll do his storm bolters. All right. Well, you only need to do three wounds. That is true. Uh, is he. I, mm, Yes. Okay, very nice. Eight shots here. Indeed. Six, seven, eight. Here we go. Okay. Uh, the trough of plenty giveth and taketh away. Couldn't have been on the plasma though, could it? No. <laughs> uh, no no wounds. wounds. Okay, so three wounds remaining on that Armager, War Dog, uh, but he still stands. The character naught now whose name has changed, I've been informed. Well, I think it's Ferum Calare. But I don't know if that's, the, if that's actually how you pronounce the second word. So we'll go with that. Sure. Farum Kalare! Uh, right, uh, it's just his macroplasma that's in range. What, what's he shooting at? Uh, same guy over here. Okay, cool. Six shots. I'm going to try and finish him off, you see? Well, okay. Die, scum. Oh, damn it. Uh, no ones to reroll here. That's three mortal wounds to yourself. Do you shrug them? Oh, yeah, good point. I presumed you were overcharging. I am always you overcharging. You shrug two of them! <laughs> Damn it, bitch! <laughs> uh, three, three wounds. Uh, well, three hits. Uh, three hits, sorry. Uh, Reroll the one for the lieutenant. Yes. Uh, it's two wounds. Two wounds. So two, two wounds. five ups are required here, otherwise he is dead. Damn it. Yay! Uh, he's dead. Does he explode? Damn it. Uh, he doesn't explode. Um, there you go. Wow. He melts a bit. He's just a pool of molten flesh. It is ATB time, in to the big boy. Yes. Everything going in there, we'll yes. start with the auto bolt rifles. Yes. Here we go. No rerolls over here. No, you're not allowed them. 
This is this is what you get when you are using non-core units. <laughs> Uh, okay, and then it's going to be fives and sixes to wound. It will wound. be sixes to wound. Sixes Stop to wound, eight. of course. One's gone on the We board. still managed to do it, everyone. Uh, two wounds two at minus wounds. one. Uh, one goes free, so I'm down to 23 wounds remaining. Okay, and, and then now your multi melters. Multiple melters. I oh, uh, oh. So remember, this is the Vale of Midrangard, so he already has a four up in bond. That's why I've not done. Rotate iron shields. Yeah. Um, I kind of need another. Mm, mm, um, mm, mm. No, I have to go with that. Okay. That's fine. Wounding. Forced to wound here. Here's it is a, a wound. wound. He is marked for death. It is marked for death, is it? Yes. Uh, well, I st still somehow managed to roll it out of the tray. It's a two. Uh, I'm going to CP re roll it. Sure. I save it. Oh, very good. The Vale of Midran Guard. Oh, dear. Denies you. The bike's now level there, bolt guns at the big boy, seeing the melter ping, oh, ping I tell you, off of the iron shield, they go, oh, oh no. no, that's not good. <laughs> uh, okay. And then sixes. Just a wound here. Minus one though. Two, two wounds. Two four up saves hit. Uh, I saved them both. Interesting. It's for me, yes. Well, whilst we're in this area, um, I'm just going to move straight onto my Invictor War shoot. Sure. Um, he's going to fire into him as well. Why not? Uh, we'll do his heavy bolter first. I can't remember what the profile is for the other gun. I hit you three times. Very nice. Uh, fives and sixes. No wounds. Damn it. Okay, so the Incendium Cannon is just out of range. Uh, we do have the two Iron Hail uh, Heavy Stubbers and the Frag Storm Launcher. So these are all strength four minus one. Yes. Here we go. The Iron Hail Stubber. Uh, oh, good. I hit you loads of times with that. Uh, sixes again to wound. Yes. Uh, one wound. One minus wound, one. Minus one. Uh, no, goes through on a three. Okay. So he's down to 22 wounds remaining. And D6 shots with the Fragstrom grenade launcher. It's six. Very nice. Fear the grenade launcher. Yes. I hit you three times. Okay. I wound you two okay. times. Two times minus one here. Tactical doctrine. Uh, I say one, another one goes through, so I'm down to 21 wounds remaining. That is three times the blessed number, but is it blessed for me or for you? Uh, I don't know. Cheeky crack grenade. Oh. Chaplain time, here we go. I feel like this will be a precursor of whether he charges or not. Oh. It's, it's a, a hit. hit. I'm going to use a different dice. Oh. Ah, unfortunate. Curses. It's charging time. Yes. The shooting phase was a mixed bag, Ew. but the charge phase... Maybe this is where it all turns around. It could be mighty. Combat Iron Hands, who would have funk it? No one. No. Weird list. Uh, <laughs> right. We, right, so the chaplain's going to charge into the big knight. Okay. Because he has the potential of doing a lot of damage over there. He does. The bike's going to charge into the autocannon uh, uh, what's he called? War Dog, war dog. Uh, just to try and shut down some shooting. And this Redemptor is going to try and charge into this War Dog uh, to punch him in the face. Okay, well, to that end, I am going to overwatch with my big boy into your mm. chaplain. Because I don't want that in my life, Beard. The Melter Gun misses. Oof. The thermal cannons. Yeah. Two of them in your Nine. face. Ah. Oh, it's big. Woo. It's a big number of shots there, Beard. Okay. I do need sixes, though. Okay. Only the one hit. So he will live because we have old Melter. Yeah, a bit Do weird. Does he wound? Oh, Ooh. no. And you've got, you've got seven wounds, so I don't get to re-roll that with Beast Slayer. Um, at that point, I'm not going to bother re-rolling it. I don't think, uh, because you got four up in bomb. Uh, I was ideally hoping to get two or three shots through, but uh, hey, here we go. Here now, we go. Due to the crater, it is a seven inch charge. Yes. Here we go. Hello. It's a three. Okay. I'm going to have to spend a command point to get him in. Come on, Mr. Chaplin. Huh? It's a five. Damn it. The, bi <laughs> the bike needs an eight. Okay. They do make it. They have, well, they, they might kill him, you know. They've got a lot of attacks. They do have a lot of attacks. Uh, and then finally, the Redemptor into the War Dog over here, needing a nine. Oh, bang on the nine. So we have made two of the charges. The Chaplain being out in the open could be a problem. Interesting. But it is interesting. We'll be back in the fight phase. There's like 
this section of the Bowsfield probably has the most heavy metal music going. <laughs> it's very cool. So uh, we have five attacks on the charge with the uh, Redemptive Dreadnought here, and we're also using uh, a stratagem I've been involved. Gorgon's Wrath. Gorgon's Wrath. Uh, so it's plus one to hit. Very in nice. The fight phase, which is nice. So, uh, so down to four command points, hitting on twos. I hate you all the times. Didn't need it, but probably if worth I hadn't done it, I would have got ones and twos. Oh yeah, 100%. Uh, threes to wound. Uh, twos to wound. Twos to wound, sorry. Uh, Reroll the one for his order. Yes. I wound you five times. Five times. Minus is three, so five. Six up saves here. How? <laughs> cool, uh, that is a minimum of 12 damage. I'm dead. Do I explode? Oh, I saw it and it was winking. He was like, hey chef, Hey, Chef, you want an explosion? Oh. Uh. Bikers now. 19 attacks from three guys. <laughs> They're very swingy. Yeah. With their chainswords. Here we go. Right, get rid of these misses. Drops. Of which there are quite a few. A lot there. A lot, a lot. Uh, very below par there, Beard. Uh, 10. So wow. I, I miss with... Uh, More than half. More than half. Good. Jolly good. Uh, four wounds. Four wounds at minus one, you say. So four up saves here. Uh, I do save one, uh, but down to nine wounds remaining. Uh, he will make some chicken leg attacks back. He's got five <laughs> of them because he's an iconoclast and you've charged him. I'm not below half strength, uh, half strength, uh, half wounds for my uh, pride fueled fury. So I'm hitting on freeze. Fear the chicken legs. All yeah, right, punt. Uh, freeze to wound here. It's two wounds at minus one because I'm iconoclast. Okay. I have extra AP on my chicken legs. <laughs> but it's a bit not skipping leg day. Uh, but apparently you have. Oh, okay. I passed both. Very well. Uh, I wasn't in range to heroically intervene here with either of my big boy knights. Uh, Beard obviously put them in such a way as to um, prevent that because uh, a million battle cannon feet would have been bad. Yes. The, not a bad turn. It was okay not in the end. Turn. The shooting phase, not ideal. Missing with both of the multi melters was a bit of a blow. Yes. Uh, but got a few points to bring it down. Have shut down an auto cannon, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, that 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 yeah, that 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 chaplain is dead. The chaplain is in a lot of trouble. But remember, I still got a lot of other stuff to deal with. Actually, that is true. So it's not it's not necessarily the end of the world for him. Mm. Um, losing the two dogs on that flank is a problem. Um, I have got ways to sort of deal with that. But more importantly, Beard did shut down my primary. I had a feeling that was going to happen because of the speed. Um, but I wasn't expecting it to happen and lose a bunch of uh, dogs as well. But we are where we are. Let's see what happens in the Knight's turn two. We are back. Turn two for the Chaos Knights is underway. The movement phase is complete. Safe. Starting down here, vengeance for his fallen brother. This war dog is looking to engage with the Redemptor, dancing quite literally on his grave. It's very upsetting. Over this way, this uh, war dog is moving forwards, looking to uh, put some hurt into um, Iron Hide over there. Yes. Uh, this war dog is staying at the back, which is where he wants to be with his auto cannons. Uh, this knight in the middle here is looking at the masonry work on this um, building in the middle here. Yeah, admiring Donated, it. Uh, in, in, in the Age of Darkness. It's actually very tragic, this one here. See, like, the knight is, is actually a loyal servant of the Imperium, but oh. the demon in the suit has overtaken him, oh. and he can't leave, so he's just watching it. He sees the masonry, reminds it, and he's just single tear. Yeah. Rolls down, and then he goes, Oh, wait, no, that's right, they abandoned us! Murder, 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 murder. murder. <laughs> Uh, very good. We have um, the auto cannon warlock at the back here, staying in combat, looking yeah. to shoot those outriders at point blank range. Uh, we have another war dog moving forwards here to deal with the cheeky chaplain. Mm. And over this way, we can see the giant twin thermal cannon wielding death death machine from hell and beyond is looking to deal with all the things over here. Yes. This could be a, a, a hurty turn for it, the Iron Hands. It could be an interesting turn. If, if everything goes right, it's going to be really good for me. If it doesn't, I'm in so much trouble. <laughs> um, so we'll, 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 we'll find out. Um, the thing is, I'm so far behind on points now, which is what I was expecting. I was, I was saying to be off camera, I look at that and you look at the point deficit and you go, oh, well, that's it. It's game. It's really not yeah. with Knights um, because they're not scoring early. They're not scoring early. So they have to do this kind of kill and then move out later. So let's find out if we do that. Indeed, we'll be back very shortly for the shooting phase. We begin next to the Trough of Plenty, 
This war dog is going to fire into this Redemptor down here. Tracer rounds. Two hits there. Okay. Good start. So wound there. Okay. No minuses. Um, I've left my dice pouch behind. Oh me, no! So I'll be right back. My sincerest apologies, everyone. Here we go. It's it's uh, he's fine. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> the dice tray means nothing. <laughs> uh, the thermal spear. Free shot. No, please. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> uh, one hit. It does wound. Um, there's it's minus four, so the damage because it's old. Mm -hmm. Two wounds. Two wounds. Which becomes one. Boo. Do you shrug it? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I was really sorry. <laughs> uh, in that case, <laughs> we'll go over to this guy here. Yep. Uh, no, we'll come over to this guy here. He's going to fire everything into you. Okay. Auto cannon. Woof, woof. Heavy stubbers. All hit. Okay. One wound. No minuses. There's a wound. Needing a three. Okay, one wing does go through. Do you shrug it? Do I shrug it? No, I don't. Good. The auto cannons. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven shots. Very good. Freeze. Okay. Okay. And then toughness seven, so fours. Two wounds at minus one. Okie dokie. Fours required here. I pass one, I fail. So it goes down, down to two damage, so two shrugs. I shrug okay. neither. Fine. He is down so to ten, uh, ten wounds. Very nice. Okay. Uh, well, let's do this guy because he doesn't have any choices. Who so, Oh, uh, the uh, him into the outriders. Into the outriders. Yes. Very good. Uh, he hits you all of the times because he's not degraded yet. Very nice. Uh, he wounds you no times. Okay. And now the auto cannons. Okay. One, two, eight shots. That's about the average. Okay. Looking fours here. Fours here. The big guns, they never tire, but they do get inaccurate. Uh, sure. Four hits. Yes. Freeze okay. to wound. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, uh, one wound at minus one. I feel like the trough of plenty is um, is causing these problems. It so is that, that is three wounds. Uh, it is three wounds. Nice shrug. No. No, I can't. That is why. No, it isn't in the dead outrider. He's got. For some reason, they have four wounds. <laughs> yes. Uh, one is down to one wound remaining. Okay. okay. A little thinky time. Yeah. Didn't want to get to this point and only have done that, but. Mm. Uh... My question to you people at home have you ever seen a Chaos Knight do a pirouette? Because he is splitting fire here. Beep, beep, we beep. have one thermal cannon into Ironhide over here. We have one thermal cannon into the. Um, what's it called again? Invictor. Invictor. Thank you. And then we have the Melter Gun going backwards into the chaplain behind him there. It is a spin of <sighs> death. Okay. Let's see if it pays off, shall we? Let's... The Melter Gun. It's a hit. Very nice. It's a wound. It's a wound. An invulnerable save, please, sir. Okay. Here we go. Needing a four. It's a three. That's not good. So this is old. This is new school melter. Just to confuse things yes. with the amount of weapons in this army. So it's D six plus two. It's five wounds. Okay. It's, five, one, it's not enough to kill him. But five it's, shrugs. It's, it's five shrugs. Five shrugs required here. Here we go. Sixes. I do shrug one, he has taken four wounds. Okay, so he's down to three remaining? Yes. Cool, that's fine. Thermal cannon onto your Invictor Tactical War Suit. Very good. One shot! Tremendous. Uh, <laughs> is, is he D, he's D3 plus three damage in combat, isn't he? Uh, yes. Yes, he's quite punchy. And then there's an additional two attacks from the pilot who uh, kicks you as well. Uh, 13 wounds, right? But it doesn't reduce damage by one. Nope. So that is something. Uh, okay. One shot it is. Okay. It's a hit. Okay. It is a wound. It's marked for death. It's minus four, so you don't get a save. The damage is 2d6. Oh, it's a six. It's six. So six damage, six shrugs. Okay, here we go. Needing some shrugs again. The pouch of power. The dice tray of plenty. I do shrug <laughs> two of them. Damn you, mid! <laughs> okay, so he's down to nine wounds remaining. Uh, yes, fine. Now the shots on your character, dude. Oh, okay. I should have done a reroll. It seems. <laughs> fine. Uh, so here we go. Six shots. I don't want you to be alarmed, bit. 
That's mm. five hits. <laughs> Freeze to wound. That's four wounds at minus four. There's no save here. Right. I'm in half range. Okay. I would like you to go away now, please. Okay. The first one is five damage, so it goes to four. The second one is becomes five. Yes. The third one becomes five. Oof. Shrug all of these, you cheeky, cheeky monkey. <laughs> That's five. Enjoy your 19 wounds, beard. Now, I know you've got a five up shrug, but you've only got seven wounds remaining. Averages dictate! But we'll see, Three, because you've six, been rolling very nine. well on your shrug so far. 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. How many? 19? 19. 18, 19. Okay. I can't even pick them all up. Hang Good. On. Here we go. Dice tray plenty. I mean, it's pretty good. I think he's dead, but it's still pretty good. He, he, he's, 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 yeah, he's dead. Okay, does he explode? Does he yes. explode? I and hide. No, he doesn't. Good, but he's, got, I, I don't need him in my life anymore. <laughs> oh, <that's> so stressful. <laughs> Next war dog now, bit more split fire. We have the uh, stubber going into the, um, What's it going to? ATVs. ATVs. Uh, one has, does, does have one wound left. And the thermal spear into the Invictor war suit. Yes, let's see if we can get lucky with those tracer rounds. We get two hits there. One wound there, Beard. One wound there. No minus is there. Needing a three. Up. Oh. It's a three. Damn it. Fine. Uh, okay, the thermal spear is one shot. Okay. <gasps> it hits. Okay. It wounds. Minus okay. four. But, yeah. uh, it's old, so 2d6 picking the highest. It's six damage! Okay. It's six again, Beard! There's a lot of sixes here. There is a lot of sixes here. Shrugs, can we see some more sixes? No, we can't. <laughs> Down to three wounds remaining. Indeed. Oh no, the, the dice tray are plenty. Oh no. Uh, Do you know what's next? Well, it's literally just the big boy. I need to decide where I'm firing stuff. Okay, we'll be right back. The final unit! <sighs> it's a big one. It's, I know, I know what's going to happen. <laughs> I can see the comments now. Why are you split firing? I'll tell you why, because I'm a madman. Um, so this is what's happening. The rocket pod is going into him. Let's see if I can get lucky. The chaplain. The chaplain. Okay. The Gatling cannon is going into the Invictus Tactical Warsuit. Okay. The battle cannon is going into the uh, um, Redemptor over there, because I can just see his arm sticking out. Mm -hmm. The perils of breakdancing. Yes. Heavy Flamer and Heavy Stubbers going into those ATVs. Okay. Let's start with the Heavy Stubbers. Let's. Oh, and I'm going to spend 2 CP for Trailer Destruction. Okay. Rerolling. Re those misses. Okay, very good. Looking for fives and sixes. Somehow. Uh, free wounds minus none. This is into... This is on the ATVs. This is the Heavy Stubbers. The ATVs. Okay, here we go. Needing threes. I do drop one. Do you though? Can I shrug? Yeah. Yes, Heavy I can. Flamer. Four shots. Four automatic hits. It's two wounds at minus one. Okay. Needing fours this time. Up. Okay. Oh, you swine. <laughs> can I shrug? No. No. That is one dead. Does he explode? Does he explode? No. No, he does not. Fine. So far, so good. Yes. The Gatling Cannon, let's do that one. The Cannon of Gatling. Yes. Uh, da, 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 da. The Rattling Gatling. Cannon. Zip, zip, Zackling. Cannon. Here, here we go. Of death. Uh, it's pretty good. That's pretty good. Rerolls. The oh, is a full house. Full house. Uh, he's only tough to six, right? Yes. Falls to wound here. One, two, three, four, five wounds. A little bit below par there, but then I also was above par on it on shooting, so it's fine. Uh, five at minus two. Uh, I only passed one. So that's eight shrugs to make. He's only got right. three wounds remaining. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. How many sixes can I make? None. N none that time. <laughs> Does he explode? Does he explode? Yes. Victor War suit. Yay! Oh no! Damn you! Okay, let's do a quick measure. We'll be right back. Damn you. Damn you, chef! Look, we were owed an explosion. This it has been a while, This actually. is a game of vehicles and there's yeah. been no explosions Indeed. so far. So it just happens to be in a bad spot. Yes. So uh, the Invictors will be hit, the, eight, the remaining ATV, and the Chaos Knight. Yes. Uh, the Chaplain mercifully does miss the explosion. It's true. Yeah. I'll roll for your Knight. 
Okay, he takes. Whoa. Two, Two mortal, mortal wounds. wounds. All right, so he's down to 19 remaining. Okay. Very well. Do, 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 do. Okay, and you want me to roll for your your stuff, you say? Sure. That's how you play it, is it? Yeah. I see. Well, you, 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 the kill, ATB you killed my stuff. Takes one wound. Okay. And this is why I don't roll for my opponent's stuff. And the incursors <laughs> take two mortal wounds. Okay. So you got shrugs. Uh, I do indeed. So let's see. Do we shrug on the ATV? No, we don't. Do we shrug on the incursors? <laughs> you do get one. Okay. Oh, those so... shrugs have been really good for you this game, Vic. Uh, so one has been halved, uh, and we have lost a wound on the ATV, okay. and that Invictor has gone bye bye. Next up, it is the missile pods firing into the chaplain, the cheekiest chaplain in town. Shocking. Shocking stuff on the type characteristic rolls for this game. For you. Well, they've been really like backwards and forwards, haven't they? Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm going to CP reroll it. Oh, we're going to CP reroll it. It's six. That's better. <laughs> Literally. The opposite. The opposite, as we say. So I'm down to four CP remaining. Very good. Um, I've got four CP remaining. Yeah, so that's my concern is because you've got interrupts. Or we'll reroll those misses. It really is a trail of destruction. The trail of destruction is very good. It's two wounds minus one. Two wounds minus one. I need you to fail both of these, really. Dilla, 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 dilla. Huh. Damn it. I passed one, I failed. What's damage? Two. Damage two. Can I shrug? No, I can't. He's down to one wound remaining. One wound left. Oh, fine. Okay. Uh, the battle cannon into the Redemptor over there, because I can see his elbow sticking out. Yes. And likewise over here, for anyone wondering, I could see... I could see like the tip of him sort of sticking out because when you he's waving when you're modelled like that, yes. that's what tends to happen. Yes. The battle cannon. Six. Okay. Fine. Middle of the road. Bit below par, but never mind. We will. Okay. Freeze to wound here. Looking for a full house. Nearly four wounds minus two. Four wounds minus two. This is on your redemptor. Four wounds minus two. Here we go. Five and sixes. Okay. I make two of them. So 2d3 damage, 2 damage. 2 damage because of the minus one. No, I can't. Okay, so he's, he's down taken to... two wounds. Eight has... wounds over there. Ah, oh, oh, that does make it a problem with the old charges, you see. Mm, but tricky one. Yeah, I mean, that's what shooting phase done. Um, so I, I, there are going to be charges. Um, let me have a ponder. All right. It is time for the charge phase. Yes. This is what's happening. We've got this war dog down here charging into the repulsor. And then over this Redemptor? way. What? The Redemptor? What did I say? Repulsor. Oh, he's a repulsor in the You called disguise. them Invictors earlier, which to be fair does sound like a, a Primaris infantry unit, mm -hmm. but the Invictor will, will die. A unit of Invictors would be terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> and then the big knight here is charging Oop. into the ATV and the chaplain. Yes. A cheeky double charge. The risky, risky maneuver. Yes, risky maneuver. Um, this boy's charging backwards, and he's going to charge backwards because I, I needed to kill one of those, really. Yeah. Um, which is why I'm sure some of you were yelling at me, "Why are you split firing? Why didn't I just fire the Gatling into him or whatever?" I was trying my luck, okay. Yeah. Um, but because Beard has the CP to interrupt, one of these Armagers would be in a lot of trouble. Hence why I'm doing it that way round. I realise he's got Mantra on but the higher toughness is better than the, the toughness seven, because obviously he'd be winning on fours, he's winning him on fives. Yeah. Look, I mean, I'm hedging my bets a lot here, yeah. um, so we'll have to see what happens. Basically. We'll have to see. Where are you starting? Uh, well, let's start with that Wardog okay. there into that Redemptor. I am going to overwatch. Sure. Um, I'm also going to do um, optimal target prioritization station, whatever it's called. Optimal um, repulsion doctrine? Yes, thank you. Yeah. That's exactly what I said. Um, which means that I can, uh, when I overwatch, I hit on fours. Yeah, which is remarkably. Uh, a, a, a whole a, a call back to 8th edition when the entire, uh, when for those of you that have only joined us in 9th edition, um, you could, everyone could overwatch. It wasn't just a stratagem. Yeah. And Iron Hands overwatched on fives <laughs> across the entire army Delightful. because reasons. <laughs> Well, let's see if uh, doing it on fours is any good. Uh, we'll start off with the storm bolter, the bolter of the storm. Yes. Uh, I hit you three times. Three times. So you you still got reroll ones to wound active on this. To wound, time. yeah. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Can I wound? Uh, I wound on, once. Wound. I wound once. Just once. Uh, yep, goes through. I'm down to eight wounds. Uh, seven. Eight wounds remaining. I was right the first time. The onslaught gatling can. 
Uh, I hit you uh, seven times, remarkably. Okay. <laughs> uh, wounding on fives and sixes. Uh, we've got three wounds so far. We roll this one for his thingy. It's three wounds. Three wounds, you say? Two wounds, I say. Okay. And to six remaining. And then finally, we have the Macroplasma Incinerator. Okay, are you overcharging? <sighs> yeah. Okay. The shots, five. Okay. All right. Okay. Five ones hit. <laughs> uh, no ones, but we've got two hits. Okay. And then we are wounding on... Three. Threes. It's two wounds. Five ups. Hey! Oh, Chef! Yes! Unbelievable stuff! Yes! Double uh, six for the win. That's it for him. He doesn't have a pod, you say? He doesn't have a pod, no. The one that had a pod is dead. Thank goodness. Yes. He's in. Very nice. We'll come back in just a moment. He is in. Didn't manage to kill him, but even worse than that, <laughs> because he's down to half wounds now, and due to pride fueled fury, he now has another attack. Yes. And I get plus one to hit as well. So you take me down to weapon skill four, but then I get plus one to hit. So you've basically just made me better. You've just made me really angry. Yes. Which is cool. I was hoping to make you really dead. Yeah, I mean, that you nearly work. did. Nearly. You nearly did. Yeah. Um, but we'll have to see, you know. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Next. The big boy into the bikes. I was hoping for a bit more so I could kind of jump <laughs> back over the barricade and out of range of stuff, but I'll take it. Sure. Uh, this guy here into them is going to need a nine because of the crater. Okay. Needing a nine. A nine? Ooh, so oh, close. Nice. But alas, no dice. Fine. Uh, and then this guy into both of them. Okay. So, yeah, it's enough to kind of go with a minus one. Boop. Like Tremendous. That, within an inch of both. Beautiful stuff. Very good. Right, um, that is all the charges complete. Yes, because this guy is currently holding an objective, but it would potentially get him out of Melter range. He's going to try. He needs a double six. Okay, well, you've already rolled one double six, it's so you've true. shown it is possible. <laughs> no, uh, not quite, because he's... he's um, he needs to go over the barricade. Okay. So uh, that's, that's why I need to do Yes, that because sense. his legs aren't long enough. No, clearly. Uh, less said about that, the better. Cool. And uh, that's the charges. Look. Yeah. Very I, nice. I know where I'm going to start. I know you're going to interrupt. I'm going to have to hope for the best, All everyone. Right. We'll be right back in the fight phase. We begin over here. The fight between the Redemptor Dreadnought and the war dog that is now more powerful than ever before. You tried to strike him down, and you failed. Okay, so uh, I was debating whether to use uh, things like Trailer Destruction or the Iconoclast one on, that you can use on the charge to give them rerolls, um, which I believe is still 2 CP, despite needing to be... Yeah, 2 CP, I can reroll the hit rolls on the charge. No. Um, I'm going to risk it for... A tasty biscuit. Oh, a delicious biscuit. I should have not oh, risked no. it. Oh no. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, a, that's, like a, that's like a plain digestive. Oh, it's one wound. It's minus four, um, but it's it's too damaged because you're a dreadnought. That is a- Shocking behavior. A stale digestive, but you okay. do do two wounds. So it's, he's down to six. Oh, he's not degraded because He's not degraded hands. because my hands are made of iron. Okay, are you interrupting? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. It is time to interrupt. One wound remains on that cheeky chaplain. Ah, and he's powered up. Very upset. He's powered up and he's going to put all of his hits into the big knight. Yep. Uh, we'll have to see what happens. Oh. So uh, he does have Mantra of Strengths off. Um, so, yep. he, so he's essentially, and with his uh, relic, yes. Crozius, he's Strength 7, uh, minus 2, and it is uh, flat 4 damage. Yeah. So let's see if we can hit first of all. Uh, but you get Ooh, two okay. ones. Drop two there. Two one, only four hits. Yep. Now it's five and sixes to wound here. It is. Five and sixes to wound. Okay. I do get two wounds and one mortal wound. So one mortal addition. wound, nothing I can do about that. I'll just mark that down now. And minus two, you say? It's minus two. Five up saves. Yes. Ooh, that's a total of eight damage, which will put me down to 10 wounds, which isn't the end of the world. I would rather not though. Um, I'm going to spend a CP. Okay, he's spending a CP. 
Damn it. Did not pay off. Okay, uh, fine. So I take nine damage. So I'm down to... Uh, is that including the mortal wound? That's including the mortal wounds, yeah, because okay. it's uh, two lots of four plus the mortal wound, which I've already counted. So I'm down to ten wounds remaining. I mean, again, you've just made him more angry. Yeah, which maybe is, isn't the best. I was hoping to uh, do more, more killings. Yeah. Um, so, okay. Let me have a look at his stats now. Okay. It's time for the big guy. He's taken some wounds. That chaplain is the hero. Uh, Chaplin's about now, to be a red this might be, smear. This might be the end of his days. Yes. How are you splitting the attacks though? So, I just want everyone to be aware <laughs> that I have four attacks base. Except because of Pride Fueled Fury, you made a terrible mistake. I've angered them twice. You've given me an extra attack. And because I'm Iconoclast on the charge, you've given me an extra I myself for attack. Yeah. And I get plus one to hit, yes. so I'm still hitting you on freezing combat. Yes. Many regrets. So, with my 18 battle cannon feet, <laughs> Uh, I'm going to do uh, three of them on um, your ATV yeah. and three on the chaplain, so that's nine each. Sure. Is how that splits. On your chaplain. Okay. I'm fed up of him. That's a pretty good start. I'm fed up of him. Okay, so I'm wounding on freeze. <laughs> uh, that is one, two, three, four, five, six at minus three, so onto your in buns. Um, so one failed save, well, preferably all of them. I'm going to pass all of them. I didn't pass all of them. No, I failed for 43. Shrug that. <laughs> How many is that? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna uh, roll six. Eight. He's dead. Good. He is absolute. He's so dead. He's so dead uh, that now he has become the soul of that knight's foot. Yes. Uh, and now on your ATV. Yes. So I get to reroll ones to wound against them because of my vow of the beast layer, which is cool. It's a very small beast, but a beast. Not the hits though, which is a pity. Yeah. Only four. Mm. Fine. Mm. Uh, freeze to wound. Reroll that one. It's three wounds at minus three because of Iconoclast. Needing sixes. Oh, beard. Okay. The damage. <laughs> you see that? That's, that's <laughs> it's two. Two damage. Can I get some shrugs? I Let's find out can together. You? Of yes. course you can. You take one damage. One but the chaplain's dead. That's fine. I can kind of live with that. That's yes, fine. good to get rid of the chaplain. Yeah. Very good. Right. Uh, what is here? next? Uh, this chargey boy. So he's got 15 battle cannon feet. Yes. Uh, one of your guys is already on one wound yes. from the auto cannons. The automatic cannon. 5, 10, 12. Do it. I don't think I. I don't know whether... You're I... making a mockery of the trough of plenty. <laughs> it means nothing to me. Uh, right. It's pretty good. It's not bad. I'd take it. Yeah. Uh, it's freeze to wound. Yes. Damn your toughness, five. Oh. Oh, gross. Oh. Is that two wounds? Two wounds minus three. Oh, okay. no. Can we try? Uh, can, we, can we save? <laughs> we can save one. Two damage. Oh no, can we shrug? No, no one, one is dead. One is dead. dead. That's it. Okay. That is a bit of a whiff. <sighs> okay. Right, okay. Uh... Um, it's now your choice of attacks. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, it is my turn to attack and I will be doing so with the Outriders over there. Um, all nine attacks going into the um, War Dog because I have been charged by the other Knight. No. Uh, okay, not bad. Not bad. It's okay. Yeah. I'll take it. Uh, and then we are wounding on five and sixes. Uh, it is two wounds. Two wounds on the war dog. <laughs> two wounds it is. Okay. okay. Can I roll saves very well today? Uh, so he's got four attacks back. Uh, he's not any, he doesn't have any boosts or iconoclast buffs at this stage. He hits you all the times though, and he wounds you twice. Okay. No minuses this time around though. Okay, <clears throat> needing threes here. Uh, pass one, fail one. What's one, the, just one damage? Just one damage. Can I shrug? No, oh, can't. So one of them takes a wound very okay, well. Okay, very good. Right, whilst the camera's on and over here. Well, that's that's all of my fighting done. Yeah. So I'm just going to go straight on to my Redemptor down here. Yes. He has been charged. Yes. So he will be hitting you five times. Yes. In the war dog snout. I hate you five <laughs> times. <laughs> <laughs> Wounding. It's five wounds. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Uh, because, he, yeah, I mean, he's only got six wounds remaining and you do a minimum of four damage. Do I explode? 
Oh, I saw it again. Oh, that is a big, 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 big problem. Yeah. Um, because that, I mean, I was expecting it to happen, but it's still just really frustrating to not have killed a fourth unit. Yeah. Um, but, okay. Um, your ATV on my big boy. Oh yeah, it's a powerful ATV. How many you attacks tried does an ATV have? That's uh, the question. I think it's like four base and then one for shock assault. So five. Okay, here we go. Sounds about right. We'll double check in a minute, but I'm pretty sure that's right. I missed you, you three times. You done that over there with the, with the dreadnought, didn't you? <laughs> uh, no, no wounds. wounds. Good. Uh, right, a mixed bag. Yes. Uh, a very mixed bag. I mean, hmm. I picked up some points for killing characters. I've gotten rid of um, a reasonable amount of like threat and board control. Yeah, stuff's dying quickly. But at the same time, he's on full health because he's Iron Hands. Yeah. Um, so he, he's dead this turn. Probably. Um, I've picked up um, two points for engage. I picked up six points for killing characters. You have a unit of eradicators left. Um, not killing them with all those battle cannon feats. Yeah, that was, was very unlucky. Very, very, very weird. Unlucky. Um, now, because you are now holding one, two, three, you're holding three, four objectives to my one, because this is contested. Um, so you're going to pick up another 15 on the primary, which is not what I was hoping in turn three. Yeah, but and, and three for data intercept as well. And the data intercept. Oh, four for data intercept. Uh, you're holding one, two, three, four, yes. So, no, you're holding three. One, two, three. Uh, and him. Oh, there. yes, of course. So, yeah, so four points. So, yeah, not what I wanted at all, but it was, it was kind of a risk that I had to do. Yeah. Not, not killing him or him with all of that. I mean, not killing him with the with shooting, I kind of get. Not killing him with all of that melter is just That was ludicrous. very unlucky. Very, very but unlucky. But then also I lucked out and I got him with, you know, like 19 wounds on the thermal cannon. So it's... <laughs> but then it's also, I could have done that. I don't know. It's, it's, it's a tough one. Knights are an interesting army because they're so swingy. I'm not out yet yeah. um, because I've taken a good chunk of your um, firepower out. Have I taken enough to get back into it in later turns? We'll have to find out. Indeed. Well, with that, let's see what happens. We'll be back very shortly for Battle Round 3. Turn 3 for the Iron Hands. Command phase has been and gone. We've gained a CP. Yes. We've stayed in Tactical Doctrine. We have given the plus one to hit to the Eradicators. Yes. And that's it. Yes. The movement phase has come along. Oh, yeah. And also we scored like 19 victory points. <laughs> Yeah, it's Many okay. Points. Like, I mean, you are far ahead on the points, but this turn needs to go very well. This turn needs to go well. If it yeah. doesn't go well, you could be in in, in trouble because that's it, that's kind of when the knights really start mopping. Yeah, and that's when I can start scoring properly. Yeah. is my thinking. We'll see. Um, so we are ahead on the points, but will it be enough? We'll have to see. Uh, movement wise, uh, we've just shuffled around with the incursors here. Uh, we've fallen back and used hit and run warfare on the ATV so he can fall back and shoot. Uh, we've shuffled forward with the eradicators. We've not advanced, so we're not in um, uh, melter range, but we have moved normally, so we can double tap should we so wish. Uh, action again being done by the incursors here much I can do about that. These boys here just uh, happy staying here. They don't need to come out to play. Uh, something has fallen down behind us. I think it's just a cable, nothing important or anything to worry about. We might uh, be haunted. Look, don't say that. The ghost of Christmas past. <laughs> this man here, the hero of the day, it seems. He's, he's been a weapon. He's been an absolute weapon. Are we sure this wasn't the character? Well, Maybe he was jealous up... that he wasn't given a name. I'll have to come up with a name for him as well. Yeah. Uh, he has come around this way. Uh, remember that because we're playing Vital Intelligence and he was holding that objective at the uh, start of the command phase, he can now leave it. So I have to go and get it anyway. Yes. But now he's coming over here to deal with this objective. Um, We'll have to see what happens over there. Will he add a fourth Bulldog to his tally? I don't know. And we've fallen back out of combat here because we don't want to be turned to a uh, fine pace. Although realistically, it's probably not going to happen given yeah. his performance last time. And they will give me a point, another point for engage. Uh, well. They will give you a point for engage. So this is why he's fallen back because we don't want to, we want to ensure that we're going to get the engage. Um, I can't heroically intervene because of the distance uh, and it shut down a primary again. So staying there would have been giving me points, basically. Um, so again, turn three, I'm not gonna score any primary, but that's why Beard needs a good turn now, because from turn four onwards is probably when I'm gonna start getting the primary, because he won't have much left, is the theory. We'll see. My dice rolling has been a bit weird today. <laughs> so that is the command and the movement phase. We'll be back in the shooting phase.
We will kick off with the ATV that fell back out of combat with the knight. Two multi multi shots and some auto bolt rifles. We'll do the auto bolt rifles first. Trace arounds, it is the way. Pew 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 pew! Uh, not well traced. No, that, that's fine. No wounds. No there. wounds. Multi melter! This is where we want to hit. I hit you twice. Okay, force to wound hit. I wound you. No, no time. times. Ah, damn it! Eradicate me. Mm. Ten shots, all into my big boy. Here we go. Two's to hit. There's twos of matey boy. They all hit. That's a good thing too. Ten hits. Do uh, you get two? Good thing two. Uh. <laughs> Falls to wound here. Oh, it's not bad. Okay, reroll these ones with the lieutenant. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so okay. seven. Yes. The seven, best number. Seven four if you will. up saves. Is it? Yes. The Vale of Medrangard. <gasps> That's my boys, but Iron Warriors. They made that. They're from Medrangard. Oh, it's a pretty good bit. Damn it! It's pretty Stupid good. Iron Warriors! I'm going to burn a CP reroll here. Okay. Because if I make that, because you're not in Melter range, it could be significant. Could be. Could be. Could be. Oh, it winked at me. Okay, <laughs> so I'm down to two CP. Okay. Uh, you're 3d6 damage, sir. I have 10 wounds remaining. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I have two wounds remaining. Oh. <laughs> in curses now. Eight rapid fire Oculus Bolt Carbines. Oculus Bolt Carbines! Okay, good shooting. Not bad. Sixes to wound here though. Needing sixes here. Needing some sixes. I get one six. One six. Minus one. A four up save. It's a save and a five. Damn you! See, okay. the power of... I reckon it is the tray, you know. The tray is sapping my power. The trough of plenty. The trough of sapping my power. We're gonna... Oh, no, they're, no, no, they're not doing a... They're not doing an action. Right, they're gonna go for it. These will yeah. be hitting on fours, so uh, I'm going through dense. Well, they did stand still, did they not? So double tap. Oh, yes, good point! Um, and dense doesn't apply because I have more than 18 wounds. Oh, that's a good point! And you ignore it anyway because you're Oculus Bolt Rifles. So many good points! I've literally just read that as well. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's interesting. Uh, so eight hits. Come here, you two. Right, sixes. I want three you sixes. Hit, oh, three, okay. Just to be safe. Oh, I only got one. One six. I save it again, bitch! Oh, shit. Okay, okay. You know what? What's you know next? what? What's it's next? down to the Iron Father himself. Okay. Gorgon's. Rams Raff, I think yeah. it is, yeah. Three the, shots with a heavy bolter. The basically. heaviest heavy bolter in town. I hit you three times. It's fives and sixes to wound. Fives and sixes to wound. Hup! <gasps> One wound. The wound. Now it is two damage though. I have a four up invulnerable save. Ah, <laughs> oh, you get him. The Iron Father! You get him with, with Ferros, the, 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 yeah. Do Feros. I explode? I don't explode. Oh man. Uh, that's fine. Uh, Shoulder mounted death. Uh, that's Straight from Medusa. That's <laughs> disappointing. The hero, everything into this armager here. Uh, I've rotated iron shields because I kind of need everything I can get away with at this stage. The hero of Kvatch. Of what? Skyrim. Oh, yeah, of course. Storm bolters, first of all. Uh, okay. I hit you four times. Okay. Fives and sixes now. No wins. No wins. Couldn't have done that with Ferros. Uh, we'll do now the uh, the onslaught Gatling cannon. I hit you eight times. Yes. Damn I wound your you. Iron hand, double table. No, it fell on the table. Off the table. Two it fell, wounds. fell on the table. Uh, two wounds. Strength yes. Five, yeah. uh, one goes through and down to eleven wounds remaining. The macro plasma incinerator. Good. The macro plasma incinerator. Well, it's about time it failed, and it misses. Very good. Huzzah. That's, that's the end of my shooting phase. Look, I mean, you killed a knight. I, I mean, killed I know, I, a knight. I know he was only on 10 wounds and he absorbed way more melter than he needed to. Yeah. Uh, but it is also kind of cool that Ferros is the one that just went, oh, I'll show you how it's done. Yeah, step back, you stupid eradicators. <laughs> Look at this shoulder mounted heavy bolter I've got. Um, so, uh, shall we go straight into the charge phase? Because there's only really one to happen, isn't there? Right here. I'm not overwatching. Okay. What do you need? Let me double check. I'm pretty I, sure we I, mentioned I, I've it forgotten. Like a seven, wasn't I'm it? I'm pretty sure. Uh, it is. Oh, it, his arm's his gun. fallen off. Uh, it is a seven. It's a seven, is it? He doesn't need right. that gun. No, because he's going into combat. All right. He's taking it off to reduce weight, so he ah. can make this charge. So he speed himself. 
Oof. He makes a charge. Damn it. He reduced the weight. He's now going to pick it up on his way yep. and then throw it uh, like a lance into his face. All right, here we go. Fight phase time. Five attacks, hitting on freeze. We've dropped two. Okay, okay, not it's what I want to see. Twos to wound, though. A couple of ones would be great. Ooh. Oh, it's a one. Okay. No rerolls here. Minus three, so if I could make at least one six here. Oh, I saw it. Okay, so I'm down to 11 wounds. Yes. So it's 3d3 plus three damage on each one. 3d3? Uh, uh, three plus d3. Yes. yes. I missed the plus bit. Ooh. Okay, so, so six, that's... seven, eight, only nine wounds. Nine wounds? I'm alive with three... We his eleven wounds remaining. Three wounds remaining. That's not ideal because now he's all angry and stuff. Yeah, isn't he? yeah, yeah. Mm. I need to check his stats. Let me check those, and we'll be back. Six attacks as a result of Icon Class and Pride Fueled Fury. I'm hitting on fours. Now, Beard, I don't want Ooh, you to be alarmed. Oh, chef! I don't want you to be alarmed. Ooh. It's freeze to wound, and it's minus four because it's Icon Class. Now, unfortunately, you do reduce the damage by one. But that is four wounds. So that is a total of eight damage. He has six wounds remaining. You need to pass at least three sixes here. Otherwise he's dead. My god. My god. My god! Oh, 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 so close. I saw, I saw, so the, close. I saw the first two and I was like, oh. There he is. All that vigorous shaking. Does he explode though and take me with him? No. Oh. Man, that would have been cool. That would have been really cool. <laughs> Finally, he is brought down. He got greedy, tried to get a fourth on his tally. The hero of Kovach. But he is no more. Aye. All right. The end of the turn. Another mixed bag turn here. It is. I can't believe that just happened. I, I the thing Very is, upset. I feel like I was due killing one of them in combat. Kind of. Because it was a bit silly. Yeah. Uh, but you did kill my big boy. And remember, this was the obset guy, so it was very important that he died because he would have just parked himself there and gone, and they're mine. Yes, just like that. But this now does mean, I, I still am not going to get any primary this turn, um, despite that, but that does free this guy up. And this is why I really like this trait, this combination of trait here, guys, because, because he's not dead, he still has a 15-inch move and he's still hitting on fours in combat with like six attacks. So he's still a massive threat, yeah. like comparatively to what he would be normally. Because otherwise he'd be like, oh, I've got a eight inch move and I'm hitting on fives. Yeah. With, so now I just move 15 inches. Yeah, it's great. So now he's freed up to go and fight things like Eradicators, yes. which would be good for me. Um, so we'll be back with the Chaos Knights turn three. It'll be a very, very sharpish one, uh, but most of the turns will be at this stage. Let's see if we can claw our way back to victory. Uh. We are back. It's Chaos Knight's turn three. The movement phase is complete. Starting over here, this Chaos Knight has moved Ooh. his full 15 inches and is now on this objective and also has line of sight on a uh, well, on everything pretty much. Yeah, everything um, that he wants. Over here, this one at the back is just stay put. He yes. knows what he's doing. Over this way, this knight down here, uh, the war dog has moved forwards looking to engage with the eradicators and my characters over there. And then the big knight has come around the mountain as has this war dog and they have line of sight on all mm. of the things. So. If all goes well, yes. could be a, a spicy meatball. It could be a, a spicy, tasty hot dog. A spicy turn. Yes. So, um, yeah, like it's it's pretty much like if I can't if I can't rest away control of at least two of the objectives this turn, then I'm in trouble. Sure. Um, but also, if I can just wipe a bunch of stuff, then I can start racking up points in later turns. It may not still be enough, but you know what I mean, maybe, maybe. We'll just have to see. Maybe. So um, we can go straight into it. Let's do it. Where Start are you starting? This boy here, he's going to fire his heavy stubber into them, see if he can get lucky. Uh, is this from... Sorry, is this from... Oh, this is the... Uh, Wardog. Wardog. Very good. So his heavy stubber into them... Oh, uh, no, forgive me, actually. We'll start with this guy here, because he's hitting on fives. Okay. So uh, the plus one to hit only applies for melee. Sure. So he is on his bottom bracket, but he's moved so far because of Abominable Constitution, which is really good. Heavy stubber's going into there, and the Thermal Spear's going to go into the ATV. Okay. The heavy stubbers. No. The thermal spear. It's three shots. Okay, okay. It's no hits. Okay, okay. fine. Uh, so then we'll go over to this guy here. He's going to do um, the heavy stubbers into there. He's going to do the thermal spear into this unit here. Okay. Uh, the heavy stubbers. Only the one hit. That's all I need. D damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the thermal spear is one shot. It does hit. 
It does wound, it's minus four, but you are in light cover, so you will get a six up save. Sure. Here we go. Okay. Good. Hang on a minute. No, cool. It is free damage because okay. it's old melter. One is Thane. Joss. <laughs> yeah. One down. Okay, very good. Uh, we'll come over to these guys. Um, heavy Stubber into here, and the auto cannons into them as well. Okay. The Heavy Stubber. How do I do this? Okay. Heavy Stubbers are running out of bullets. No wings, because okay. you're five. The Auto Cannons. The Automatic. Ooh, okay. That is 10 shots. Very nice. Very nice. Seven, eight, nine, ten. But damn your wound. Oh, very nice. Yowza. Eight, eight. eight hits. Eight hits there. Let's see if we can make that into eight wounds. We can make it into five wounds. Respectable number. Minus one and damage free. Okay. Here we go. Ooh, okay. So six damage on one of them, basically. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can get any shrugs here. Yeah. Not enough. One is dead. One is dead. Very good. One outrider is slain. Do you know what's next? Uh, or do you want to have a little thing? I'm going to have a little ponder now. Okay, you ponder away. Pondering. We'll be right back. War Dog at the back over here. Auto cannons firing into the last remaining Outrider. He must die. One hit from the Heavy Stubbers. Stop, stop, stop. So wound this time though. Okay, okay, powerful stuff. Can I save? Fear no, I can't. Heavy stubber. He does uh, take do a shrug? wound. Oh, do I shrug? Of course, of course. <laughs> I didn't know what it wanted to do. Oh, dancing okay. guys. So he's down to three wounds remaining. That's important for my cannons. It... It's respectable. It's eight shots. Very nice. Very nice indeed. It's also very nice. Mm, it's not. Mm, okay. It's not. It's not. Wounding. That makes up for it. Three wounds. That, that's about the average. Uh, minus one. Oh. No! Nine shrugs beard. No, does he, does he, no, he's dead. He's dead. Very good. <laughs> cool. That's him sorted. So now that's freed up some space here. We come to my big boy. Let me gather some dice. Okay, it's time for the whirling dervish. Many split firing attacks happening again. Yes. The spinner rooney, if you will. It's very tense here. Yes. It's just very tense, like in my gut. <laughs> uh, so, um, we're going to do tra uh, Trail of Destruction. Yes. Um, and we're going to go split fire everywhere. Mm. Heavy Flamer and Heavy Stubbers. Okay. Into the Incursors? Uh, into the Incursors. Yes. The Rocket Pots. Into these Incursors. The Gatling Cannon. Into the ATV. The Battle Cannon. Oh, into the Eradicators. So, let's start with the Rocket Pot. Sure. Over here. Five shots this The time. Pod of Rockets! The Pod of Rockets. Uh, Reroll that for Trail of Destruction. A full house. Very nice. Freeze to wound here. Ah, damn. Okay, uh, two wounds minus one, so free up save because of the light cover. And Incursors! Loves it. Uh, the Heavy Stubbers and the Heavy Flamer into those Incursors at the front there. Stub, 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 stub. Stub away. Stub away. Stub my toe. I, I hope to stub many a toe. Yeah. Uh, that death by stub oof. toes. That would take so long. It, it, that, yeah. Like maybe they should change. Like you know the, the the saying like death by thousand cuts. Just death by thousand stub toes. Yes. Uh, two wounds, no minuses on those incursors at the front there. Incursors. They love life. The heavy flamer. Two shots. One wound. Minus one. Incursor. No. Okay. Shrug. Do I shrug? Oh no. 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 no you don't. Uh, so one is slain because he was on one wound. Fine. The heavy Gatling cannon of the Avenger Ages. variety. Yes. Where is this going again? ATV. This is into the ATV. Very nice. Uh, 9, 12. Here we go. It's already a good start. Ooh. Nearly a full house. Ooh. Come here. Fetch those dice. Come into my palms. Oof. That's very good. Uh, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine saves at minus two on that ATV. Okay, I'm just gonna roll these seven here. You might need to roll two more. more. It's not bad. That's not bad at wow. all. Wow. Um, it, that so is four eight, go through. Eight damage. Uh, so eight shrugs to make. Damage two. Okay, eight shrugs. Here we go. Oh, so awkward. Yeah. No, dead. he's dead. Not quite enough. Does he explode? Yes. No. Damn it. Okay. Um, so far, so okay. Um, and now the battle cannon into your eradicator. The cannon of battle. 
Seven, a respectable number. It's what, the best number. What would it's it the, be in the average? It's the best number you can get. Maybe. Maybe. See? Rerouting. Okay, six hits. Uh, free swing, because of your Gravis armor. Damn it. Okay, it is uh, free wounds at minus two. You are behind a barricade, so it's four up saves. A four up save required. You pass every single one. Fantastic. That's fine. Uh, cool. Uh, that's my shooting phase done. Okay. Let you remove casualties and then we'll get to the charging. We'll be right back. It is the charge phase. This is a very important one here. It is. We have this Omega. Sorry. War dog. Woof. And he is charging into the eradicators. This war dog over here. He is charging into the incursors mm. as is the big dog. Uh, big knight at the yeah. back over there. Let's start with him. The, okay. It's a six, it's what I needed. He's in on and a he six. Goes. Very good. So he goes badunk. Lovely jubbers. Uh, so are you doing your mine now? I, you know what? I am going to mine him. Okay. Um, so he just takes three mortal wounds. Yeah. Oh, on a two plus, I think. On a two plus? I think it is. Okay. Yes. So he, he takes, takes three more. He takes three more because he is a vehicle. Yes. Um, we uh, one of these guys is dead as well uh, from the flamer. If I remember. Yes. I'll remove him in just a moment. Uh, this guy's going to charge him. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Very so nice. He would swing round and slot into here. Beautiful. Will he get within an inch? Yes, he will. Fantastic. Cool. And now this is really important over there. Yes. Oh. Oh, cheeky one. Oh, it's a seven. It's exactly what I needed. Very nice indeed. Very good. Oh, this is big. Right, we'll move them all in and we'll be right back. The turn has gone very well so far. Oh. The charge race is done. We're ready for some prime cuts of combat now. Choppy, choppy. Starting off with the war dog. War dog yes, here. The incursors. So he's got five attacks because he's not degraded for the pride field fury. Yes. Uh, he does hit you four times. Very nice. It will be twos to kill. Indeed. Well, kind of kill. Uh, cool. That is one, two, three, four wounds at minus four because I am Iconoclast. Yes. Um, so that is uh, four lots of free damage. You'll have to do these one at a time because of shrugs. Four lots of three? Yes. Okay. Here we go. First one is dead. Dead. The second one is dead. Yes. The third one is probably dead now. He's dead. Very he's, good. He's dead. Very nice. Cool. Um, I'll let you remove them so I can do all my piling shenanigans. All right. And now it is this war dog. He's putting all of his attacks into Ferros because I have decided to heroically intervene. Yes. I have to uh, pay for some luck. Maybe. I'm hitting on fours. I've got six attacks. That's very nice. It's two to wound because I have strength 12. That's very nice. It's four wounds okay. uh, on your five-up invulnerable save. Invulnerable save for the Gorgon. Damn it. Oh, big. That's oh, that's not good. 12 damage, That bit. is not good. He does have a five-up shrug, though, he right? He does. For, let me just grab some more dice. Uh, four. Oh, no. We'll do eight. Ah. Yeah. Oh, he's so oh, dead. Oh, he's super dead. Oh, dear, oh, oh dear. Mistakes. That is not good. Oh. Oof. He is slain. The Iron Father has fallen. It now comes down to the Eradicators to bring Just this piling, abomination down. Can they do it with their Fists of Fury? I can't actually do that. That's cheating. Forgive me, everyone. That's fine. Uh, right. Let's see if we can hit you first. Uh, <laughs> not bad That's pretty at good. all. I only missed you twice. Ooh, uh, okay. It's going to be... Uh, sorry for the camera work there. Lots of dice, you see. Uh, it's going to be fives and sixes to wound. Yes. Uh, and I can reroll ones. Which there's one. Uh, hup. Okay. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six wounds. Six wounds. Six wounds. We're not, six in, assault, wounds here. We're not in assault doctrine. <gasps> oh, he's dead! Oh, oh no! That is big. That's big. That's ma that's massive, actually. Okay. All right. Okay. Does he explode? Ooh. Is it time? Damn it. <laughs> He implodes. Uh, okay. Okay. Revenge fine. for their fallen Iron Father. I mean, like, not, not. That was a very good turn. That was a very good turn for me, yeah. though. Um, that was a very good turn for me, though. I, I'm not sure if it's enough, um, because now, um, I mean, you were still holding the, uh, the two objectives anyway. Yeah. Um, losing that and ha it's now having the Eradicators being able to shoot is a big problem, especially because I don't have the CP to rotate iron shield yeah um but i mean hey you know we'll have to see what happens um if you get a good turn now that'll be it if you don't 
you're in a lot of trouble. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, interesting times. Didn't think we're going to get to turn four. We'll be back very shortly. Let's see what happens. The dust settles mm. on the battlefield. The numbers have been crunched. Yes. The calculations have been completed. Uh, turns out, yeah, the it, Chaos Knights can't pull it back. It's it's unfortunately, it's it's really it's really disappointing actually. It's 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 uh, it's unfortunately not possible for me to catch up. So I'll break it down very very quickly. Um, this is assuming an absolute one hundred percent best case scenario for the Chaos Knights, and that involves these guys not killing him. Yes. Bear in mind, I can't rotate Iron Shields. Sure, they don't have the plus one to hit anymore, but they're hitting on freeze. They're wounding on freeze. I'll have a five up save. They're rerunning once to wound whatever. So let's assume that they whiff completely and they don't kill him, right? And let's assume that Beard is suicidal and charges these guys in to try and deny the objective and I kill them. Yes. Which isn't out the realms of possibility. I'm hitting on threes, I'll be wounding on twos, minus three because of Iconoclast, I've got like 15 attacks. Probably not, right? So let's assume that that's what happens. Now Beard is currently on 67 points in his command phase because of the data intercept over there and he was holding two objectives. Um, uh, so he's on uh, 62 points, forgive me, because uh, he was holding one, he's holding two. So he's on, he's on 62 points, right? So again, best case scenario, and this is assuming an absolute total whiff, he doesn't die. Yep. I then, they're dead, so he parks himself there between the two objectives to shut off that objective, hold that objective, because I'll get 15 points at the beginning of the turn. So that put me on 34. Um, I can then kill them with all of the guns. Um, I can then look to kill the lieutenant with the war dog in combat. So that gave me six points, grind it down. Um, so that, uh, and I'll also have engage on all fronts. So I'll get nine points. So that'll put me on uh, 43 points uh, to bid 62. He'll then get another point for the uh, data intercept which is happening over there now yep right so he'll end the game on 63 points i'll then at the end of my turn five get maybe grind it down for killing that unit engage on all fronts and um the the primary points so that will put me on 62 points so he'll still win by one point even if everything goes right in my in my favor now if i'd have managed to score in earlier turns it would be game on yeah Absolutely. and realistically guys is that is that is he going to survive no the minute he dies it's a three point swing because of bring it down and because then i won't be able to get the three points on engaging on fronts yeah so that that just seals the deal so realistically i can concede which is a, a real shame because i honestly was like ready to just absolutely go into turn five and go and i steal the victory for the night if, if i hadn't have managed to kill the other big knight with yes. um uh, theros yeah that would have been a very different outcome. yeah if the knight was alive there that would be huge because yeah. then there's no shooting and then at that point i you would have still gotten the points for the objectives but then i could go i know that i'm not gonna lose um and because obviously there'd be another two points so you'd only go on 60 points it would still be really tight for the knights but it would just give me so much breathing room mm. with them free hey it is what it is look it was a good game yeah really it, interesting it, really it, really interesting it was really cool to see all of the war dogs on the table um i think they they really do show a lot of promise and i think it's definitely a way to run chaos knights is like this yeah. and not with all the big knights um, so it's really cool to have these here and we'll be bringing you more games with all of these war dogs in the near future yeah we'll probably go crazy and use more than what we've done today yeah yeah because well, we have I mean, nine we well this is the thing we've we've got the ability to run more than nine but you can only take nine because of the rule of three yes because they're one data sheet unlike the imperial knight version which is two separate data sheets Perfect. so we are limited in that regard we could proxy moiraxes but we'd rather not um because that they're, they're a bit too different in terms of look i don't i mean they're not different enough but it's just not what we want to do yeah, guys yeah. um yeah i think if i was just it's interesting because if you didn't have those bikes you wouldn't have been able to shut down my objectives. Yeah, and that's kind of why I, I'm sure lots of people looked at my list earlier and thinking, this is a really weird Iron Hands list, but I wanted to try something slightly different and use fast units to get onto the objectives. Yeah. Interest, anyone that's, uh, anyone that's uh, a, one of our on-demand bosses may have already seen the other Iron Hands game I played recently, and I really struggle with maneuverability. Uh, there's some really, really great stuff you can do with Devastator Doctrine in turn one, but it's just turn one. That's yeah. it. And unless you're, unless you're in a really good position with range and line of sight, uh, it's just not quite as good as 
it looks on paper. Mm. Um, so interesting to see some uh, quick units that are more survivable than other chapters with that shrug. And oh boy, did that shrug do me some favors oh, today. Oh, it really helped out. Yeah. Really, I mean, but you know, it, it's, it's kind of it's kind of cool. The uh, the Redemptor over there was MVP. 100%. Yeah, it's such um, a weapon. Again, it was so it was that, it was that issue of like if you hadn't of like gone over there and dealt with two knights and then a third when I charged you. Yeah. Um, you know, then I would have been holding two victory. I would have been holding two points. Yeah. So I would have then gotten five victory points, and then I could have gotten ten points in the following turn. But because you, I mean, that's, you played the mission, you shut down the primary points, and this is this is why the bikes worked really really well in this. This is because they could just go, oh okay, you're worth one model. Great. It's mine now. Yeah. So I had to stay back and deal with them when really I wanted to start moving forward. But hey, you know, it's uh, the knights have a weakness, which is what I like because a good general can play around weaknesses, right? Um, is it a big weakness? Yeah, it's a huge one. <laughs> it's a massive one when you suddenly lose an objective to, you know, of your 20 ton war machine to two guys on bikes. <laughs> but hey, um, you know, so I, I don't think I played anything badly nope, I don't think with so the list because I always knew that the, ter the first two turns were not going to be big scorers for me. It was because I didn't quite get the points in the turn three. I think it kind of cost me the game. Yeah. Um, but like, we live and we learn. We live and we learn. I mean, you know, like you say, you've, you, you've played your second game now with the Iron Hands. Um, you've used another list. You've now tweaked that list because to make up for your maneuverability and it worked in your favor, right? So, you know, we can continue to tweak with the limits that we have on the Chaos Knights. Um, I think the core of the army works. Um, I would probably, I think I would probably next time I would drop one of the auto cannon guys because they are really good. Yeah. But it's the minus one is just the poo. minus one minus is one a bump. Is poo. Yeah, if, um, if they were like AP two or something, then all of, just make them AP two would yeah. be a spicy meatball. Yeah. Um, so the AP one is a bit. Uh, I, but the it, these guys in combat with this combination are scary. Yeah. Um, it's just unfortunate that with dreadnoughts reducing damage by one plus your really good shrugs, yeah. they manage to survive a lot longer than they perhaps not necessarily should have done because dreadnoughts are cool, right? Yeah. Um, they should be around for ages. Uh, but yeah, look. Great game. Thank you for the game. Thank um, you. I concede to your victory, sir. Uh, <laughs> very well played. Very well fought. Um, good good choice in your secondaries. Thank the, you. The, the data intercept was just really nice and consistent throughout yeah. the game. Yeah, yeah it, was, it, was, uh, it was it was good. It, wor it works. It works. And it, it went to plan. Um, lovely stuff. Thank you guys for, in, for uh, sticking with us today. Hope you enjoyed the game. Hope you like seeing these new units today. As we said at the beginning, um, if you enjoy what you see here, please consider subscribing. It helps us out more than you might imagine. Um, we'll catch you next time. Head over to On Demand if you want to see more of these videos. Thank you kindly, Mr. Chef. We'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone. Do -do.